Hey guys, here with a quick initial review of the Maytech Hub OSD, uh, which is basically the same form factor as the 5-in-1 V3, but you're losing some of the LED controls and gaining on-screen display. So uh, here's a website. I'll post a link to this in the description if you guys want to check out all the specifications and all that. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick what it looks like on the screen and uh, let you see all that. So let's go ahead and put this to the side. Here we have my ZMR X210. I just finished building yesterday. Uh, I know it's probably going to be really hard to see, but there it is the hub OSD in there. You can see it's a little wider than the flight controller. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this up and so you guys can see what it looks like. Now, mind you, my Rum Cam Swift is mounted upside down because that was the only way I could find to um, still use the set screw. So, uh, my picture is going to be upside down. I got to figure that one out. But I just want to show you guys what the uh, PDB is displaying. So, but it doesn't matter. Um, let's go ahead and plug this up here. Yeah. Zoom in. There we go. Let's plug it up so you guys see what it looks like. Okay, there you have the little booting menu. And now what we have on the screen right here is the voltage. Right here, top left, and you have the amp draw right here right below that and then you're gonna have a minimum uh minimum voltage and maximum amps uh used and then over here you're gonna have the flight timer and milliamps used so don't have any props on here so i'm gonna go ahead and arm it put in air mode let you guys see what it does And there you can see, got the real-time voltage display. Um, sorry about the beeping, since I have my uh, throttle all the way down. So, like I said, milliamps used, flight time, which I'm not sure if the flight time is working right. Ah, uh, see, because I'm not... I wasn't drawing enough power out. Okay, so when you actually find this set of values right here goes away. Yeah. That set of values goes away when you're actually flying. Clear up the screen a little bit. So. Anyway. Showing you guys real quick what it looks like. Um, this is a very good product. Um, Maytech has a good rep. Um, I think you guys would like this as long as you don't mind the longer form factor. Um, but I will say, if you want to change the settings, which I think a lot of people will uh, want to change the settings, you're gonna need a, a the little tool to connect to it. Um, here show you here they have a little software package and you're going to need to get one of these uh ttl to usb tools to change it and then you can get your uh, call sign on the screen and also change when it pops for low voltage and uh i guess it's come stock um where after you use a thousand milliamps it will start flashing a warning in the Voltage will start flashing, um, but if you're flying 1800 milliamp batteries, you're most likely going to use more than a thousand. So you might want to have uh, go into the settings and change that. Anyways, just want to give you guys a quick look uh, what the on-screen display looks like, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.